Hi everyone, Linda from Sean Micaia. It's already August 1st. I'm back from vacation. I enjoyed my time and I hope that everybody enjoyed the nice weather we had. It shall be back this weekend. I'd like to talk to you today about the energy in August. Of course, uh, at the end of July, we received um, the alignment with the planet Mar uh, Mars, which uh, as most of you must know, Mars is a planet of fire, a planet that represents oftentimes war, conflict, quarrels, but it also, being fire, represents passion, um, determination, it also represents purification, letting go of different things, like, like we know fire burns and the ashes will nourish the earth to grow again. So if we purge, if we purify certain things, they turn to ashes and they grow to make us grow. Although we need to be aware that the influence of the war or confusion is always present with Mars. Um, I would also like to say that August is principally the month for the Leos, which are represented by a lion. A lion roars. A lion also represents fire, passion, courage. Uh, it's the uh, animal, the king of the kingdom, of the animal kingdom. Uh, a lion is very um, nurturing. So Leos are very nurturing people, people that like to uh, family, they like to uh, do different projects and entertain always new ideas. Um, they're very close-knit to their loved ones. Uh, they're people that are strong. Don't always show their emotions. And of course, they can roar. That means that they can um, scream and be very uh, outspoken, if you like. There are also people that um, usually have a lot of hair, which is strange to say. But uh, that permits them to be connected because our, our antennas come from our hair, from our, the top of our head, uh, the, but they can also hide behind their, their hair, their face, and they can impress, which is sometimes a false impression because they are also very vulnerable, we must admit. They're not just uh, strong and roaring and, and all this stuff. They're also vulnerable, very sensitive, and very protective of their own environment. So taking the planet Mars and the sign of Leo into consideration, it brings us an energy that is um, full of, I'm going to say, excitement, full of, oh, should I do this, should I not, um, starting all kinds of different things. It may not mean that we will finish them. We may change our minds on the way, but we have that drive that seems to be waking inside of us to do so many things. It's a, a time of the, uh, of the year where we know that um, we shall soon be um, into um, the, the fall, the preparation of school uh, in uh, reaping what we sowed uh, during the spring. It's a, a time of um, gratitude, of uh, making a a chart, if you want, of what you want. You know, we do one in January for the full year, but it's nice to do one also around during the summer. And August is a good month for that, especially with what the energy of Mars is it being present, because it gives us uh, the time to say, okay, this irritates me, this angers me, no more. This gives me passion, gives me drive. Yes, I want more. It gives us the power of intention of putting all our dreams into motion. It's a good month. Also, the stones for this month are uh, Peridou, Peridot, and Sardinix. And these two stones work on opening your heart, of course. They're good luck stones. But they're also stones that help you uh, be decisive. Uh, channel your answers that you're not sure of. 
they're, they're very they're stones that bring you down to earth in your roots but at the same time they keep you very connected to the higher realms so that all your decisions come from your heart where the channeling and the rooting connect together so it's these are stones are very um, helpful. Peridot is green and it's also a stone that Raphael, the Archangel, enjoys having around him. So Kimwa is showing you the, uh, the stones while I'm talking. Um, it's also a time if you want to have haircuts, change your style, um, wear really nice primal colors. Yeah. It's a time for that. It's a time to eat nourishing foods that come from the earth. It's a time to um, fulfill all your basics, to make your dreams come true before the end of the year. It's a beautiful, beautiful time um, to do all kinds of different things. Oh, I'll show you some small paradox. Next, and next to the light. Just put your hand in there. There you go. This is what it looks like. I have sardonyx at the, the counter and up front. We can show it before we finish. Also, I'd like to make everybody aware that our calendar is out. And uh, there are some adjustments to make, but um, we will soon be completely uh, aware of everybody's uh, intention of what they want to teach this year. Um, we will have new things. Uh, Kim, uh, my phone holder, mm -hmm. is going to be teaching uh, uh, massage therapy, uh, mass energy, which is combined with Reiki. It's a beautiful approach. She will also be teaching her prenatal classes with the uh, natural spiritual aspect brought to all of this. Uh, we have a new person named uh, Suzanne Landry, which will be doing a lot of the feminine divine energy. Uh, she will also be doing a medicine wheel with the uh, elements. Uh, you have myself. I'm, I'm going to be doing um, metaphysics, which is I'm calling right now the uh, roots of life. So we know where we come from and where we're going in our evolution and why we choose certain paths and so on and so forth. I will be teaching crystals again. Of course, I will be initiating Reiki. Uh, we also have uh, different conferences. Uh, we have Qigong that is back every Wednesday night. We have different things. We have meditation twice a month uh, on Thursday evening. So check out our calendar and you'll have all the information you need. If you need more um, data about what we're doing, don't be shy. Give us a call, send us an email. It'll be our pleasure to introduce all this to you. And um, we're going to accent a lot uh, this year, uh, this September, all through to, to May and June, uh, conferences and classes on everything that has to do with um, the feminine empowerment among all of us. That doesn't mean that we all have to be f women to, to feel the feminine empowerment, because we all have feminine and masculine uh, energies inside of us, the yin and the yang. But we will be focusing a lot on the yin, on the feminine power, because um, if we look back in history, a lot of the great rulers were women. So we're going to do a lot of soul searching within ourselves as women to take back our power in a positive, gentle, strong, decisive way. All is in your power of intention. All is in your power of putting that intention in movement. And the movement is always uh, bigger. The waves are bigger. The current is stronger when we are a group. So I encourage all of you and I invite all of you to join us in our adventure to develop more and more a healthy, harmonious, divine, feminine energy within us. On that note, I'm going to say... Uh, um, um, most of the classes will also be offered um, via uh, um, Zoom, which is uh, 
and it's uh, like on the, on internet on the web, right? It's an application <laughs> that that allows you to follow classes through the computer or your phones, so you don't have to be uh, present in class. Yeah, I will be teaching physically, but I will also have the computer present so that other people can join us and uh, answer all of your questions and answer. So not everybody has to come physically to Sharmakaya. We can have people from a bit of everywhere, which makes our group even stronger. So on that note, I'm going to say have a wonderful week. Uh, enjoy the weekend. It's going to be nice again. And uh, I'll see you next Wednesday. But I'm going to go show you some sardonyx if you want to follow me. Let's follow the blue hair lady. <laughs> We have some here, and they're also made in palm stone, which Linda's taking them out, so you guys will get to see them. So you can have them in tumble like this, or you can have them as palm stone, so you can rub them for stress or relief or whatever. They come in different uh, colors, like this one has more brown and green, Versus this one has a lot more uh, the dark brown and the whites and the and the blacks, but it's a beautiful beautiful stone. It's a very nice stone to have. Sardonyx is also good for people that are coming out of depression because it helps you to be able to have uh, good judgment and be able to put all of your um, desires into motion. It's a very good stone. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you next week.